tend to, you should be focusing most of your energy on that because you're going to see more, a quicker return from that without a doubt. Right. Um, and with, and I'm just speaking from a real estate perspective, um, for those that don't or haven't, and I've had, I have lots of agents that, um, you know, say they want to do it and then they don't do all the things that they need to do to get into people's faces and, and, and be a realtor. Um, and those people, we give them a year and then we say, you know, we're not in the business to just have people, you know, breathing bodies in our brokerage. It actually ends up costing me money. It costs us money to carry them. Um, and so we have a very serious conversation with them, but uh, you know, in a gentle way, we're just very direct and we let them, we let them go. We give them that, that last opportunity. Okay. This is different. Right, because you know, maybe they just stay as a product user. You know, um, so I don't know. That's that's an interesting. It's not like you're dropping them. It's more just saying because, like Kathy Cooper says, she works with five. She works with five people at a time. So if you were one of those five and you weren't doing anything, then sorry, I've got to move on. And she didn't even always because she said once she trained that first five, then she started utilizing that. So she had somebody who maybe was kind of doing it, but wasn't one of her five. She could say, "Here, Herb, you work with them." You know, you know. So That's a she good idea. Her personally enrolled down the well, anybody really in her downline that as she had brought them along. Then when they were ready, she started kind of passing people to them. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, I, obviously, she's not going to say, "Sorry, sorry, get off my team." <laughs> no, yeah, it's not. It's not about letting them go because it's it is much different in that regards, Heather. Um, but like these these guys, and Annie was one of them. She was uh, one of my business calls. But we had very specific for was it ninety days? It was ninety days. Ninety days every single week, specific time, and they had a half an hour. And we, we, we had specific questions we went over, or we just kind of chatted depending on the situation. And at the end of the 90 days, we reevaluated did you grow? What happened? Did your team grow? Where are you at? For many of them, they actually stayed the same. Mm -hmm. um, some of them didn't get on the calls, which, in that regards, if you don't make three calls, you really shouldn't be on any more calls and I wasn't very strict about that at all so I think it's just setting up the guidelines and as as we all grow into more of that leadership role we all have to be very duplicatable with that setting up the guidelines you can't miss more than three calls or there's no more calls um, you got to do these homework assignments if you can't do those homework assignments then we can't continue these calls and really truly just working with five people at a time I've tried working with more and that's what I did and it is it's difficult because you can't give them enough sure. yeah well, because at the same time, I mean, those are the people you're intensively working with, but at the same time, then you also got other people that you've got to do it for. You've got to do, I mean, so it's, it's not. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So that, I, I think we definitely want to kind of add some some rules to, to that as we move on. Um, but to kind of go back from this weekend with how teaching people how to, I, what I took away was teaching people how to connect, teaching people how to write their story, teaching people how to say the 820 script, doing videos on all of that and doing three-way calls. Those were kind of my homework assignments of what I need to do personally and perfect as well as to teach on. Did anyone come up with any anything else or adding to that? Uh, I actually need to do that for myself. Yeah, we all do. We all do. Yeah. Raquel and I were also talking about Tanya, what Tanya was sharing about what she does. She actually meets with the prospect and stuff. That's another area. That's the other area that I always felt like, okay, they've told me how to make an appointment, but now what? So I think that's the other area that maybe we could do. And again, doing three-way calls is going to help, but that initial contact when you first talk to somebody, what are you supposed to say? To I agree. Them? I think that was something I actually enjoyed that piece. That was a big piece for me because I have two major things um, for me personally. And that is that conversation that I'm having in a, in a meeting because 
it's all, you know, it depends. It's, I, I agree with what was said this week and that we need a script and we need to have, you need to, scripts work. You know what I mean? Like, when you have something that works for you, you use it. Problem is, I, I feel like I go in different areas depending on, you know what I mean? And you do, you, you tailor it towards a person, obviously. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's about that person. All right. So you truly need to have a script that is geared that way, that you're going to use that way. And so for me, it's more about finalizing and finding what that, you know, what that is that I'm going to use when I sit down in my one-on-ones okay. or in a conversation with someone over the phone. Right. And you're going from like in our book from page 25 on to 27, correct? Just to make sure I'm following on with you. Wait, let me see. I'm not even sure. I know. I'm like, I don't know. Right. Annie, did they give you a book when you got your badge? Yeah, they did. They did. Okay, so Heather, you did not get a book. So right. we're going to have to find if find out if we can get you a University in Action book. Because okay. Bonnie did get one the first day. They gave you one. Well, I'm sure we can get another one. Okay. And a lot of times you can just upload and download, or I'm sorry, download a lot of that information. It may not be immediately, but if you want to just Google University in Action workbook and okay. see if it comes up. Okay. Um, is that what you're talking about, Raquel? Well, this is more like the reject the rejection opportunity, like opportunities to. That's what this section is on. I'm just talking about that conversation that you're having when you are over the phone with someone new. Um, like for example, a guy like meeting. Do I start with my 30 second story? Then I do I go next? Like what am I? What are the things I'm covering in that conversation? What is too much? What is not too much? Do you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's where I get lost too. And I think, and I, I'll be, because for instance, doing, doing Eric Boy's recruiting training, and then he says, okay, and then your next step is you do the presentation. Okay, but what's the presentation? I don't know what I'm saying. What is the presentation? <laughs> <laughs> and I think the company does a great job of giving us scripts for right, we have business, and for, but, but we don't have anything that says, this is what you're going to say to a prospect when you're actually talking to them. Well, I think that's the whole belly to belly thing. You know what I mean? Because for me, that's that's a connection piece where you're just connecting with people, right? On a real authentic level. Because right, for me, that's my my thing now. Is my goal is that I I'm not connecting with someone with the intention of oh this person has to start this. I'm connecting with someone to form a relationship with this person. If it if it turns out to be that the person, you know, jumps on board, then great. But if they don't, I'm still forming a relationship with this person. You know what I mean? Right. And that's where my mindset is towards my conversation. And so, but at the same time, that conversation has to be, has to still have a, a, set, a guideline. Does that make right. Sense? It's like a flow. Like right. A, because in the end, you know that if that person decides at some point they want to jump on board, you want to be the first person they think of. Right. Right. And so, right. so have you looked and have you found any scripts to kind of fit your criteria? Um, I think that's where we were sitting here thinking, like, how do we, like, you know, um, do that? Like, I was trying to decide, do I, um, do I just focus it on telling my story, sharing the products, pretty, you know, like, my students, or share the generic, you know, the core five, like, what am I doing? You know what I'm saying? Right. So is this, is this a prospect that you've never, he's, you've never talked to him about this at all? And you're just going right. to call, so call him? I just decided, we set a meeting to sit down and talk. Okay? I'm now meeting him at Starbucks, for example, for the first time. So what is she going to say to me as we sit here? Right. That conversation is a conversation that I'm saying because that conversation, I feel like a lot of times I leave that conversation in a very, well, we'll contact each other. You know what I'm saying? There's no set. There's no dialogue to me that I have set up a true follow up, an opportunity for a true follow up, let's say. Okay. So honestly, okay. I have, I have for a script because I'm I'm good at that. That's just comes very natural to me, which is something I learned this weekend is that a lot of these things are very natural to me, so I don't train on them. And right. so we're not being duplicatable and we're not teaching each person do this, do this, do this. Um, so I haven't looked for a script. Have you looked in isogenicsbusiness.com for a script on that? Yes, there is nothing. There's nothing. 
Hi. <laughs> if you've gotten the person to say, sure, I'll meet with you, then you're just left swimming. <laughs> okay. So do you feel, well, you swim well I think to some degree, what he was saying though was, was that person, you can, you can, what I'm getting the script is, is basically, I don't know, if, but again, it's for a new person, right? The script I've seen, at least the one from this weekend, is always saying, hey, I just started a new business. I don't know much about it, but I'd love to get you in a three-way call with someone who, you know what I mean, who does. Right. And it's, you know, setting that up. And because, again, I don't know thing. You know, I don't know much about it, but here, you know what I mean, that kind of thing. Again, that comes to a new person. But someone like me, who, you know, I've been doing this for a while. Same thing, oh, you've been doing this for a while. So what? It's not... Me. Well, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm at a level where I can say I'm new. No. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't think I'm at a level where I could say that. Like, I feel like my, yes, I could say I could put being on a phone with someone. But if I'm sitting down in a meeting with someone in a one-on-one, -on -one, I still have to be able to, I mean, my conversation, again, is trying to reach your goals. But what that. you're going to say, no, so no, what you're going to say is, you know what, my friend Stephanie really would relate to you if you want to, you know, so you're going to more say... I have a friend whose story is very similar to yours. I would love to, to get you guys together so that you can, you know. Yeah, but that's like a call. To me, like, if I took someone to meet someone at a, at, at a Starbucks, and they tell me immediately I'm going to get you a call, well, why the hell do you do that on the phone in the first place? Like, why, why are we sitting here meeting? Right. That makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for a conversation. I, think I can give that to you. That I'm going to talk about. I'm down with at that table. If it comes to a point where I need to have a three-way call with them, great. But I still have to have a conversation with them. Okay. So I think well, what about, it can help you with that. Because Kathy has the book, and I think you have it too, Raquel, Connecting and Overcoming Objections. Yeah. There's different volumes. Have you looked in there to see if that has what you're looking for? Because it does. Well, I, don't, I don't remember seeing one in there because I think it was yeah, solely mainly on objections. No. I have volume three. I, ha I think I have all three volumes. And it goes over several different things. One chapter is set the appointment. Um, so you're setting the appointment, they give their response. That you're, you're overcoming objections there. But it does walk you through it. And again, I haven't spent a whole lot of time looking through this. So I, I, I can't say 100% it's going to have what you want. I'll look through it again. But, but it has connecting guidelines. Um, it has... It does talk about the who do you know. It has connecting opening lines. But again, that's connecting. That's setting. That's how you. Then it has enrolling and closing. So it doesn't have the in between. It has three way calls, um, developing your story. I guess what I guess what it doesn't have is that meat, and that's kind of what you're looking for. That meat. Okay, so you said you're good at that part. So what do you do then when you meet with somebody? Like, tell me that. I ask questions. So I'll sit down with them and, and I, you know, say hi, chit chat for, you know, anywhere from a minute to five to 10 minutes, depending on how much time I have, they have, and what our goals are. If they are a new person about product, then I will just start asking them questions, you know, so obviously we met today for a reason. Um, what are some of your reasons for meeting with me? What can I help you with? What can I offer you information about? And they're like, well, I want, I want to lose weight. Okay, great. And then you just start asking questions. Is there something specific you want to lose weight for? How much would you like to lose? How much would you like to lose? Uh, do you have a time frame that you want to lose? Tell me your current eating habits. Um, and I kind of go that direction with them. And then I'll pull out an enrollment form. And be like, great, we have these particular packs. I'm going to highly recommend this pack for you. It's this price. Does that seem like that's a match for you? Does that work? And if all goes well, we just go that direction and we close it. If it's for business purposes, I probably have, and this is where I'm going to be changing, but I probably have met with them before. I probably know a little bit more about their story, what their needs are. And then we sit down like, great. Okay. So you want to do this for a business and that's where and again, haven't been great at this at all. So need to change, shift, but bring out that new questionnaire. And I think if you bring out that new associate check it questionnaire, you're actually going to achieve both. What are their goals for the product and what are their goals for the business? And it will take them to that deeper level like Heather's talking about. Why do you want to lose weight? 
why, who's supporting you, why do you need to earn money, how much do you need to earn, how much can you do. Um, taking back what I've done in the past, I think if we just do that new questionnaire, that might answer all of our questions on what to say and what to ask. And again, that's all Betsy does. I, I totally agree. It's all about questions and asking people. It's a simple 10 minute conversation that should be totally relaxed, but you have to be absorbing all those little tidbits of information so are you and, and, and understanding what direction to go. Cause you could be meeting somebody that like, like that literally you just stumble across in a coffee shop. You're not even prepared. They had no idea that you're going to even sit and talk about isogenics, but you got to figure out how to bring that into the conversation. Um, and it's all about, you can do that whether you planned the meeting or didn't plan the meeting. Um, it's, it's like when I go to meet cl new clients in real estate, I've met them in the grocery store. You got to figure out how to work it into the conversation that. No, I, I get that part because that happens all the time. And I'm, you know, right. connected part. I was just trying to come up with a plan more for an actual meeting with someone who I, I know I am actually meeting with for isogenics. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that. Yeah. Part, I get that. And, and, and I think Raquel, that's it. I mean, my problem is, is, is. I haven't learned how to to duplicate and, and do exactly the same thing that I do because I do it my own way and I've been good at that. So this weekend's really been the, and not even this weekend, it's been happening, it's been moving this way for a while, of stop all of that and follow the scripts, do the same thing over and over and teach everyone. And so I've been asking questions. So with Betsy, all she does is she tries to find out what color they are and she does the new questionnaire with them. Then she finds out, are they one of her five or not? And if they are one of her five. Is there new people that she hasn't even enrolled? Not necessarily. This is everyone. So whether they're currently on her team or. <laughs> that's her team. See, I, okay. Because that's what I was going to ask about the question, about the, the questionnaire. Because everything I've heard is that you do that with them once they've enrolled and you, you know, like when you're delivering their product, oh, you know what I'm saying? After they've gotten their product, they're okay. now there. That's where you kind of figure out where they fit into, whether they're going to be just product users or they're going to be things. I'm, I just got from your conversation is to do the associate questionnaire at that first meeting when you're first meeting with them. So right? let's, look, let's look at the questionnaire um, to find out, would this work for a brand new person that you've never met with? That's what I'm, I'm worrying is that that may be too much for that particular well, meeting. You don't have to ask them every question. So, you know, maybe you just do the first question and let's take a look at it. Um, the first question is kind of getting them familiar or the first part of it is getting them familiar with who we are, going over our top websites, setting a date for welcome calls. So that's not going to work. Yeah, I, um, I feel like that's more, that, that checklist is more, that interview is more for, okay, they just got their right. product. Yeah, that's it, Andy. We're gonna, you know, I just want to kind of go over with you the products, but I also want to kind of see where you are and if, you know, if we possibly, you know what I mean, that kind of thing versus this particular, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is the whole thing you just mentioned, that's what I said, duplication, is that when we bring someone new in and we tell them to have one-on-ones with people, just like Ellie said, she didn't know what to say to people, so she never really had them or she didn't, you know what I mean, I wanted to put together something based on even whatever we have in the back up, whatever it is, right. that's the script. So look, look at page, 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 um, when you sit down with this. Look, look at the new social interview A. And if you look at this, there's six questions. One is, what is your health goal? Right. What do you want to, or why do you want to achieve this goal? Um, who is on your support team? And is there anyone else that you want to join you on fulfilling this goal? Okay, um, that, that one is good. That sounds good. That first, that, that one might be a good one. Yeah, and I think with that, you're going to have an entire conversation. So you've got like about four or five questions you can ask them, and through those four or five questions, you'll probably have more that goes with it. That's going to be an individual situation we may not be able to get scripts for immediately. But, you know, what are your health goals? Why well, want to lose weight? Why do you want to lose weight? What do you want to lose? How much? What are you willing to do to lose weight? Um, who's supporting you? No one. Um, husband? No, not interested whatsoever. You know, and they're going to go into that conversation with you. 
uh, and then is there anyone else that you want to help you join you on this school? Which can then lead into the U plus two, them plus two, but you might, we might have to maybe add one more, two more things in between to kind of help people ask a couple more questions to peel that onion back. Does that, is that kind of what you're looking for? Um, that, that makes sense because I really, like I, I am going to implement what Tanya said she does because again, that to me was, I can do that. Like to me, I get the whole, she talked about the, 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 the five senses and that's what she does well, in every one of her and meetings. And again, she told the tools she's using. I show them the catalog. I show, I mean, she right. gave a very. She, and that's, and she tells everyone on her team, this is what you need to do. And that's what I'm talking about is having something. And I say, this is what you do when you sit down with somebody. Right. You have to do this. And this is what you're going to, you're going to ask them. Like you just said, you're going to ask some questions for them to get to their goals, for them to get to this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want a step kind of thing. That doesn't go in that order, obviously based on the conversation, but to give people a guideline to know, because people are not making those one-on-ones because they're afraid they don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. Right. So if we give them something and say, these are the things that, you know, you should, you have at your exposed to, to be able to use, you know what I mean? Right. Then maybe this will help them feel more comfortable sitting down with someone okay. and having that one-on-one -on -one conversation. Well, yeah. I mean, even just today, like I'm meeting with a friend of mine. I don't know if it'll turn to isogenics or not, but if it did, what do I do? You know what I mean? Like, knowing what to say if it if you happen to even be sitting and chatting with somebody and it turns to that <laughs> right okay you know what's beautiful ellie is that you're meeting your friend fresh off of an event so she's gonna be like okay so you were in you know you were in scottsdale what were you doing or you can say oh i had just an amazing weekend because she's gonna ask you how was your weekend so right. then you go right into it so that's gonna be beautiful yeah, in this particular case, I'm not, I mean, because this friend is not at all judgment. I mean, it, I'm not really worried about with her. It's more like, let's say Raquel and I just happened to be sitting here at the coffee shop and started talking to each other, and then the conversation turns, and I, I don't really know her. So what, you know, it makes it a little bit harder. Okay. So we, we have the video on Tanya, or Tanya. Tanya. We have her video. Um, and then either I can ask or Raquel or Annie or anyone who wants to ask her, does she have that in written form? What does she hand to her new associates? Does she have a script? Does she have a guideline? And, and Trudy, right? You said, so. beautiful. Let's ask Trudy then. Yeah. Great. Find out. And you know what? The speed that Trudy's going right now, she's probably does have it all in very specific guidelines. So why don't you try and get whatever you can from her, and and then we just teach on that. The other thing, Stephanie, that I took away from that is I like the idea of doing role plays, especially with the three-way calls, so that if we're going to be, if, because Raquel was saying, I don't want to be the expert on that. I mean, I think we all can use the, the like, if I'm going to be the one that, that Raquel wants to call because she needs a weight loss story. I don't know what to say. I mean, so this is, this is one thing I was thinking about. I talked to Linda about it yesterday. So let me know your thoughts on that. And really this is kind of, it'll be a promo that probably Linda Raquel and I do. Um, but I wanted to, you know, teach everyone how to do their story. And then we begin to teach everyone how to do the 820 script. But the end result within a specific time period is that they want to put this on video, two different videos. Right. And they need to be willing to share that with the team. Anyone that's willing to share either one or both of those videos um, will receive either going to drawing for a celebration ticket or maybe we just give everyone a ticket because how many people are actually going to do it um, will be limited. We'll do it. Okay, so maybe we do a drawing and maybe we do a couple. You know, we don't have to do just one ticket, do a couple. Because um, we want to get as many people there as possible. But the point of that is so that we all have several different stories that we can share. And, and so if, if just the four of us, one, two, three, four, five, the five of us do a video, there's five different stories. But we know we'll have other people. And so Lynn and I were kind of chatting, well, how do we do that? Do we put it on YouTube or do we just put it in our, in our business page and then they can grab it? I like the idea of YouTube and then we can go. Because I don't know how many times I send people Angie's story, Jill Burr's story, Craig Coleman. When you say YouTube, you mean your own personal account on YouTube or are like just on YouTube? Well, I mean, you have to have your own personal account on YouTube in order to post a, post a video. She wants it to be something she could send to her prospects. 
but available to but all they do is have to type in they go to youtube they just have to type in raquel miller's story if that hasn't already been taken. we have less than a minute and this is going to go off so are we going to call back or are we done like what yeah we let's go ahead when it ends just go ahead and call back in i have to run, run so i will because i've got that appointment at three in sedona so do you you can call in on your phone and listen okay if i have service i will Yes, and I'm trying to think. Do you need a link, or was there a phone number? There's a phone number that you can call. Okay. Um, yeah, I will. Exactly. Okay. So I can. Okay. Okay. Hey, but I text her that stuff. Do you have it? Do you I, have don't have a, I don't have a handy. If you do, I'm gonna look for it. Okay. okay. I'm jumping off. I'll text you, Ellie. All right, thank you, Amy. Okay, yeah. Riley, I'll jump off and come back. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.